Hello, printmakers. So today in this video, you'll observe the inking of the dry point plate. So by now we've gone through two steps, um, the drawing on the plate and also the preparation of the paper. Um, the materials you're gonna need are the Ankua Italio ink plate um, that you've already prepared. You'll want black ink. We're using the Akua brand as well. Paper towels, magazine or phone book scraps the paper that you'll have prepared that'll be just damp, um, cardboard scraps or a used gift card. As you can see, we have both out. We're using a piece of chipboard and a cup or wooden spoon. All right, just make sure you have a nice, clean, flat surface. So you can see we have an inking area here and a printing area here. And they're both are clean and flat. We've secured our printing plate down to the table. Um, so as Sam said, you'll tape it down to the table. Um, we used to use, use the gaff tape. Um, we've also taped a box around the plate to help us define um, where that plate's going to sit and the printing area to help keep things clean. Um, as you start to ink over this, you'll see that where the edges are might become a little blurry as ink slips off the different sides. All right, so using your gift card or cardboard scrap as we're using here, this is a piece of uh, not necessarily cardboard, but uh, card stock. So it's like a, uh, it's a thicker board material. Um, you're gonna use that uh, with the Akua Intaglio ink and apply a generous layer of ink across the entire surface. You should see we're like making the entire surface black, right? Uh, so you apply that all the way down. As we said before, you might see brighter eye looking down and reading something making sure we stay on script and we hit every little note. It's the same script that we've shared with you. So if it looks like we're reading to you what you can read yourself, you're correct. Um, again, apply the ink over the entire surface of the plate, alternating vertically and horizontal passes uh, to ensure that ink is deposited into all of the incised lines. If your cardboard piece becomes flimsy, you may want to switch to another piece. You can just chuck that in the garbage after wiping as much ink as you can back into your Akua uh, ink jar, you know, making sure that you maintain uh, and keep as much as your ink as possible. Be conservative with how you uh, keep all of your ink um, uh, possible because obviously you can see coating the entire plate could be something where you use quite a bit of ink to make a single print. Um, so after that, you'll go ahead and scrape away some of the excess ink using another piece of chipboard or that debit card or that old gift card or even a business card seem to work um, to make sure. So you're going to remove some of those inks from the ink from the surface, but still ensuring that those incised lines hold the ink. So you're not trying to dig into the plate. Just remove some of that ink from the surface. All right. So as you can see on the video, we're still kind of spreading ink across the entire surface. You really want to make sure that you coat it really nicely. Uh, when you start to scrape away, uh, you're going to uh, be careful not to, as Brett said, not to scrape away too much ink um, because you want to keep the ink in the inside lines. And then you're going to start to buff it down uh, the negative nine inscribed spaces. Uh, we wrap the sock and a paper towel forming a biscuit-like uh, rounded shape. Uh, we're using materials found at home. That's why we say like use a sock. Uh, and, and it might be like the third sock, right? You've got this sock that doesn't have a pair somewhere and you use like, I don't know what to do with this sock. That's a sock can now become part of your printmaking tools and your printmaking kit. If you're at home, you're not sure where to get all this stuff. You don't want to spend too much money. There's a great way to get around that. Um, but if you want to, you can buy some tarleton or cheesecloth for wiping a plate. We're just using a substitution here to try to keep prices down and find at home solutions. In case, you know, anyone taking the course here or doing this might be in a place where they don't have access to tarletons or cheesecloths or you use that for some other purpose. Here's a, here's a way to, uh, to use uh, your third sock, those extra socks, you don't have a partner. Uh, and give them a purpose, right? Get, get some purpose back to those materials. You're just keeping around the house, hoping that, that that partner that got lost in the dryer somewhere in the, the dryer mystical, magical black hole of space, right? You're, you're bringing it back to give it some life, okay? Um, 
So using that biscuit sock paper towel combination, um, you're going to use quick circular rotations of the hand and begin to clean off the surface of the plate. So as you can see, I'm constantly moving around and it's a flick of the wrist kind of motion. Um, you're trying to start to keep those in size lines, but wipe away that ink from those negative spaces. Um, I think of it like hitting the plate with the round surface of a boxing glove. So you're just coming in contact with it and lifting off again. Um, you want to avoid any wrinkles or folds or hard edges of, as you mold this surface um, for plate cleaning. I mean, you don't want to get into that incised area and wipe out. You just want to hit the surface and keep all those incised lines. It's, it's a very a gentle touch that you're just kind of like brushing and kissing the surface as you remove. You, would, you want to rather move very little at a time rather than take a huge amount of ink off the surface because you've just added globs and globs and globs and you want to slowly take that ink away so you can get the perfect amount of ink that is still inside those lines along with just a hint of plate tone. Um, that's exactly what you're trying to get at. Brett described it in a great way, uh, making sure that you rotate the bunched up wiping tool so that a clean edge comes in contact with the plate. Uh, you know, like I said, it's just a kiss, but very gentle, right? Like you're kissing a baby's cheek. You don't really want to, you know, do an abrasive, really hard rubbing. <laughs> so you're going to continue to spot clean the plate with that biscuit, paper towel, sock combo until you've removed the majority of the ink. Um, from those negative spaces. So it's good to become familiar with that drawing so you can identify where those spaces are. Um, but you want to be sure to leave some plate tone. As Sam says, that'll end up being that kind of gray tone that's a little bit different from your paper. You want to be careful here not to get too aggressive or clean too much ink too fast. Um, we want the ink to stay in the incised lines. Um, so then there's a contrast in the print. If not, it'll start to gray out and blur a little bit. Um, so just being careful, once again, this is going to take a few tries. Um, it's not exactly easy and it takes a while to start familiarizing yourself with that motion that Sam talked so extensively about. So as you move through these steps, each printmaker must manage the urge to clean the plate with a desire for great print. Uh, figure out a system of wiping that works best for the conditions of your home studio. Again, process notes will be very important here and documenting the ways that you work and saying what works, what doesn't, what do you keep, what do you get rid of, how you control the variables that are happening in your home studio. Um, and you can see here where we grabbed a piece, uh, now if, if I rewind the video a little here, um, let's see, there it is. You got a piece of a page from an old magazine or a phone book, um, and you're going to tear it down to about the size of your palm. You can see uh, that's what Brett's working with, uh, and you begin to to wipe the plate. Uh, Brett, do you want to talk some more about this? Yep. So as you're doing this, you um, want to use the meaty part of the palm of your hand, so kind of this back area. Stay away from your fingers because that's going to wipe it less consistently. It's more of a push motion, similar to the biscuit, where you're coming in contact with the plate and pulling up. Because um, you want only the raised ink is what the magazine page is going to clean up, not what's in those incised lines. So wiping should not be measured by the pressure you apply with the hand against the surface of the plate, um, but by that light kind of touch, that kiss of the plate, similar to that paper towel. Um, this is just for kind of cleaning up all those negative spaces and ensuring that you get that nice, crisp, dark incised line or incised area. Uh, so just the raised ink, if you can imagine that the ink that's on that magazine page is, is just raised off the surface, that raised surface is what's cleaning the ink off of your plate. Um, so again, it's a very gentle kissing of the plate. It's not heavy friction. Uh, and look carefully and closely over the surface of the plate from different angles to ensure uh, you are content uh, with the inking of the plate and the wiping of your plate. Make, you know, if you see any areas that look more fogged than others, maybe you need to continue that wiping area. Um, but it's about having a conversation with yourself as you go through this process uh, to figure out what works exactly best for you. You'll want to um, 
pick up the plate from the surface and using the paper towel, you'll want to carefully wipe the edges in the back. Um, as you do this initial process, as you see in the video, a lot of times the ink slips underneath or around and to keep that print clean, you're going to want to pick it up. So off that tape that's underneath it and wipe the corners in the back. You can use the paper towel with this, just being careful that you're not intruding into the image or wiping any of your image area away. Um, this can be tricky as well to hold the plate with one hand and clean it with another. It's a bit of a balancing act, but it's something that you will get used to. Um, often this part of the process results in white lines appearing on the edges of the print. Um, once again, print is a process and it's going to take some time. So if the first ink job doesn't or inking job doesn't come out exactly perfect, um, you have the opportunity with plates to keep wiping them and do it and proof them until you're happy with it. Like Sam said before in this section, um, taking notes is a really great idea. So you can go back and edit those notes and fix things as your prints improve. And I would, again, just remember that if, if first you do not succeed, try, try again. This is really important in printmaking uh, to know that you are going to learn and improve as you build up your skills within this. Uh, many printmakers uh, you know, like try and try and try and try and try and over not just the course of a week, but over years develop their wiping practices to become better printmakers. Um, and the wiping practice for dry point is really the cornerstone of controlling for your print. Um, so we're trying to make sure that we help you ensure for that uh, best print and best wiping practice possible while using at home and clean materials. Uh, again, Akua is a water-based ink, but we still would recommend that you wear gloves just to ensure that you protect yourself. Um, from any and all uh, materials that you don't commonly come in contact with. Uh, that hence why uh, Brett's wearing them while he's printing this plate in the video here. Uh, to just make sure that you're taking these same precautions at home uh, for yourself. Uh, although, you know, Akua is a water-based, very safe ink that you can use at home, not an oil-based ink. Uh, and thanks again for your time and patience. We really enjoyed talking to you. We hope that you got everything you need from this inking process. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.